All right, guys. I still can't believe it. Is that an echo, 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 echo? <laughs> did you see what I did there? <laughs> I still can't believe it. Is that an echo, echo, echo? Why, yes it is. It certainly is. What's an echo doing on my weed eater rack? Hey guys, what's happening? Chris with Town & Country Lawn Care. Um, so I, I got a, a demo unit from uh, K-Tool and Fire. I had a, a trimmer go down. It's it actually still running, but it uh, it's giving me some problems with the clutch. So I was talking to him about it a little bit. I said I'm, I'm going to have to replace it. And, he says, "Well, before you do that, let me uh, let me do you a favor." And uh, he called his rep, his Echo rep, and they brought a trimmer in, and uh, they showed me the specs on it, and it's right there with my still. I run a FS110R, and this is an Echo SRM2620. Um, so I'm gonna do a real quick, real quick review on this. Um, show it to you real fast it's not a brand spanking new unit but it is a SRM 2620 uh, so when I got this thing I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest with you um, I've been a steel guy for quite a number of years I've got the trimmers, I've got the blowers, I've got the combi system. I got a number of attachments for that and uh, have been faithful. Um, I don't want to change, but um, I'll, tell, I'll tell you after I, after I use this thing for, it only took two yards. Now I ran it for two days but it only took two yards for me to come to the realization that this for me my opinion this is a superior trimmer and it has less cc's than the still does it's got a smaller engine I don't know if it's displacement we'll call it that um, it feels just as heavy, maybe just just a hair lighter, but definitely not heavier. Um, the handle on it, I like the handle on it, it's comfortable, just like my still. Um, the throttle, it, it's responsive. It uh, actually, it's it's more responsive than my still is. Um, fits in my rack just like the stills do. I know appearance doesn't make a lot of difference to to us as far as the handhelds go, but in all honesty, it's not a bad looking trimmer. Um, I tend to blip when I when I trim, and what I mean is I just blip the throttle. Uh, I'm not a wide open guy, never have been. Uh, feel like you're, you burn in, dig into a lawn, or you can, uh, if you're running a wide open, it's just not doing any justice for the engine. You're burning up fuel when you don't need to. It's just, for me, it's senseless. So I'm, I blip, blip the throttle. Um, I got this one. And it was so easy to hold a constant low low power uh, speed or throttle or what have you. Um, it's smooth. It is so smooth running. You don't feel it in your hand like you do in the steel. Um, but back to the responsiveness, I find myself maybe just at mid throttle when I'm trimming. 
and I, I realized it and uh, I grabbed a hold of the trigger and put it into some stuff some tall grass and it ripped right through it um, and that was with the line that came on it it's not my line of choice uh, I prefer I prefer uh, I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. It might be still line. But that's that's what I run on my trimmers. Yeah, it, it actually it is it is still. It's the O95. Um But I like that line. So I threw that on there because I just wanted to see what uh the difference was and make sure I could trim with my line because I've had lines that they just they suck to trim with, just being honest. And uh, man, it just ate through it. It ate right through whatever I put the trimmer into. Um, but it's got so much power, so much more power than what the uh, still does. It's comfortable. It's not hard. You know, it, it doesn't take a whole lot of getting used to. There is one difference that I'd, I would like to see Echo make. Um, I'm six foot, and when I'm trimming, I feel as though I have to bend over just a little bit. And I know that there's that, that handle out there that uh, I've seen Blake using it. Uh, there's a couple guys. But uh, I don't know if I want to go that route. I'd like to just have a trimmer that, uh, that fit my height. The speed feed. I didn't think I was going to be a fan of the speed feed. You cut one piece of string, stick it through, and then wind it up. I've gotten so efficient at stringing my stills that I can do it in my sleep. I didn't know what kind of BS I was going to run into trying to do this. And uh, I've only I've only strung it once. And I'm going to tell you it's not hard. It really, it, it's not. It's, it's a cakewalk. And uh, I mean it winds right up. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It feeds, it feeds good. Um, but I, like I said, the only, the only thing that I can see that I would like them to do or any of the manufacturers for that matter is, uh, the stick on the trimmer. If you could make these in different lengths, you know, there are short guys out there. It's not a one size fits all type thing. Um, Maybe uh, make some longer ones for the taller guys and some shorter ones for the shorter guys. Or uh, adjust the tilt on the head a couple of degrees. But uh, other than that, I think I might have to up hit my trailer. And I don't want to do that. But I think that's what it's going to come down to. For the money guys, I mean, these things, they last a couple of years. They're not worth sinking a bunch of money in for repairs. Um, I usually run mine for about two, three years, and then I sell them in a garage sale. Uh, there's no dealers around here that I'm aware of that take trade-ins. So... Uh, you know, I got. A, I also got a couple guys that that know I do the lawn care, and they tell me that whenever I part ways with my handhelds, to let them know that they'll buy them off me. Cause they're not junk, but you know, for what we use them for, they got to be ready to go. Um. So my uh, my take on this this trimmer. My take on this trimmer, I'll uh, I'll give it a thumbs up, a solid thumbs up. 
I'd like to uh, demo some other pieces, see what else Echo has to offer. I'll uh, put it up against some of my other stuff. And uh, it's even quieter. It's, it's quieter than the, uh, the steel. Alright guys, that, that uh, Echo Trimmer, $329, $329, uh, the still that I'm running currently uh, is about $390, at least that's what uh, I paid for it here. My verdict on it, dude, you're, get, you're getting it, you're getting it. A trimmer that feels a little bit lighter it it feels sturdy um, my opinion has more power I mean spec wise it says it doesn't but uh, you know running it it does um, it's comfortable uh, you know, if you're a if you're a steel guy, or if you're a, a Red Max guy, or a Shindawa, or a Husqvarna, or I don't know, call call down to the local dealer, find out what they sell. If if they have Echo, line up a line up a demo. What's it gonna hurt? Uh, it, it's something that I've always done with mowers. I want to know what's out there. I want to know what I'm taking to my customer's yard. Uh, I want to know that my quality you know what what I bring to the table as far as a, a lawn care uh, commercial guy uh, I want to know that I'm showing up and I want my customers to know that I'm showing up with what I believe is the best equipment for the job I've had customers ask me you know why why are you showing up with uh, an X mark or why are you showing up with uh, a hustler or you know Every now and then you come with a different kind of mower. You keep buying different mowers. No, I'm not. I, I, I run what I believe in. And uh, from time to time I'll call up different dealers and I'll ask for a demo. Because I want to know what each specific mower company has out there every year. And uh, not that I'm replacing mowers every year. You know, if that just, is just that's just crazy. But... Um, I want to know quite honestly shame on me for the last 10 years just running running steel and oh it's just a handheld piece of equipment you know how good can something else be or blah 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 you know well I, I found out uh, when Kyle over there at K-Tool offered me this thing as a demo I kind of snickered a little bit uh, thought in the back of my mind yeah man it's just just a trimmer they all do the same thing and you're right. They all make. They all they all cut uh, weeds. They all they all trim the weeds. Um, but if you're going to spend three twenty nine on a trimmer versus almost four hundred dollars, and you're going to get better a better a better trimmer for it. I would uh, I would entertain the idea of just taking a demo and trying it and seeing for yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. I'm not sponsored or being paid by Echo to say anything that I'm saying. Uh, my dealer isn't doing it. He's not paying me. Um, I wish they were, but uh, I quite honestly I. I'm glad he did it. I'm glad he made the phone call and put it in my hands and said, here, try this, because now I know. So Echo, I give you the thumbs up. Um, I believe in your trimmers. Uh, I'd like to see what else you have out there.